Aramaic in the New Testament, Pascha. Now, this word may be invisible in English translations, but it shows up at Matthew 26, 2. You know that after two days the Passover is coming, Pascha, and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Now, this word appears for the first time in the Septuagint in Exodus 12, 11. It's the Passover word, and you see in the Septuagint, it does not bear any accent marks, unlike in the New Testament. Now, speaking of this Greek word, it reflects Pesach, which is the Hebrew word for Passover. And we notice in Exodus 12, 11, the Masoretic text on the top, and then Targum Onkelos on the bottom with Pescha. Now, you can see the similarity of that word to this Greek word, Pascha, which helps us to see that Pascha is reflecting an Aramaic word rather than Pesach, the Hebrew word. This is interesting that it would be the Aramaic word consistently in both Old and New Testaments that is then brought over into Greek, the translation language. All that is to say, Pascha or Pescha means Passover.